Uh, actually, guys, the people who drive here, we just facilitate each other. We are still on half and fifty hundred guys. In standard three, ah, still look something like this. But uh, moving forward from where, where we finished. Uh, now, I want to I want to explain to you guys this one, activity five, page number two. Uh, identify and explain the emergency medical services available during safety situations. Uh, the medical medical services available during safety situations. Uh, their main aim is to preserve life. Uh, let me just read this statement for you guys. Uh, preserve life. The overriding aim of all medical care including first aid is to save lives so like guys yeah uh, all medical care the overriding aim is to care for all all patients or uh, everyone who is in need of uh, medical treatment and this they say it includes first aid yeah first aid did include everyone who are saving lives and second one here they say prevent further harm uh, let me read this statement it says here also sometimes called prevent the condition from worsening or danger or further injury this covers both external factors such as moving a patient away from any cause of harm and applying first aid techniques to prevent worsening of the condition Mm. So like here, yeah, what they're saying is, uh, let's prevent further harm, guys. Uh, you can't find uh, someone in a certain state, and then after attending to him, and then you further on uh, inflict more damage to, to, to the patient. So like, yeah, here they say we must prevent further harm. If we find uh, a patient, maybe he might be hurt, might be suffering from anything which is uh, duty related, then it's our duty to to help him, uh, not to to worsen the condition that is already in. And they say uh, promote recovery. The statement here says first aid also involves trying to start the recovery process from the illness or injury. Uh, recovery uh, here yeah, they say Trying. Uh, they want you like to, to get back from uh, the, the state there that you were in before. That's why here we say we promote recovery. Yeah. You can't get injured in like uh, your condition worsens. You must not worsen, it must, uh, you must recover from uh, the injury that you have sustained. And here we see, first aid also involves trying to start the recovery process from the illness or injury. In some cases, it might involve computing a treatment, such as in the case of applying a plaster to a small wound. Yeah, applying a plaster to a small wound, yeah, we're promoting recovery. It's also part of recovery. And, uh, Let's 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 uh, carry on with uh, activity activity four, the one on top. Page D in it. Page D in here they say identify and explain the relevance of periodic testing in no periodic testing of emergency procedures under the event management. It's here on page 86. Let me just uh, read it out to you guys. Uh, priority testing of emergency procedures. Priority testing of emergency procedures should be performed to ensure that the company and external emergency services can appropriately respond to emergency situations and prevent or mitigate associated with SHE consequences. Mm. Here, like, 
what I'm sure here, yeah, we must uh, just follow uh, the periodic testing of emergency procedures. That must be performed at an emergency or at an emergency situation. Testing of the emergency procedures should involve external emergency services provider. So external emergency services providers are uh, they are referring to maybe your emergency personnel, your contractors and your your SHEs and your safety reps, your safety officers. They are the ones who are allowed to do priority testing of emergency procedures. Yes. And their yeah, emergency drills can emergency drills can be used to evacuate the company's emergency procedure, equipment and training as well as in case of overall awareness of emergency response protocols. Now, emergency drills can be used. An emergency drill is like a test run. Yeah, a test run of uh, an emergency that might happen or might not. But like for people to be prepared, they must test run uh, whatever they have been placed in their safety books or whatever. Yeah. They must test if whatever they have in their books uh, is well functioning and is going to uh, work in, in power to evacuate people inside the building. So that's, where, that's what a, a test emergency drill mm -hmm. It's an emergency drill. The company should maintain records of emergency drills. The type of information that should be recorded includes a description of the situation and scope of the drill. Now here what they are saying is uh, every time when, when we do emergency drills uh, there must be someone who, who is drafting everything down um, as a, a form of proof that we have done emergency drills and here it is. Our emergency drill looks like this. Let me say the company should maintain records of emergency drills the type of information that should be recorded, including descriptions and uh, a timeline of events and actions, observations of any significant achievement or problems. This information should be reviewed with the drill planner. Yeah, like they say, this information should be reviewed with the person who came up with the whole drill, the whole evacuation process. Yeah, the person must also be present uh, so that we must we can so that you can be, you can be able to show uh, the, re the relevant people uh, how his emergency drill works and how say, is it safe to be using such emergency drill or whatnot. That's why they say each and every emergency drill must be dotted down. And another one here they say testing of emergency procedures should be performed to ensure that company and external emergencies can appropriately respond to emergency personnel. Mm. And like that's how uh, activity number four goes, guys. Uh, Mm, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's about it. Yeah, that's how we identify and explain the relevance of product testing. Guys. If they say they want, you get this question and you give us this in the test, then you're good to go. Uh, guys, uh, thank you for being with us. Uh, let's see each other again on our next lesson.